just got this epic scooter. Let's get it unboxed. Get that out of here. This is a 52 volt scooter. It's 25 amp hour battery and it goes 40 miles an hour and it's only $1,000. Let's get it opened up. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's sweet. All black, has some gold. Is there tires? Yep, there's tires, it's good to go. All right, we got the Lee Out X, X, SX, 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 SX 10. We got the Lee Out SX 10 all put together, and so far we are really liking what we are seeing. The build quality actually seems to be pretty nice. So if you guys are interested in this scooter, head over to Amazon, link in the video description. You can check the scooter listing out. Let's now go over all the specs on this bad boy. So we have dual hub motors running 1400 watts each for a total output of 2800 watts. We have a 52 volt battery with 25 amp hours, which is the biggest we've seen in any scooter even close to this price point. So that is awesome that they include such a large battery. That's pushing you upwards of 50, 60 miles of range, which is crazy. They even give you a headlight, which we haven't seen in very many scooters, which is sort of surprising, but they do include a headlight. You can turn it on and off with this switch right here. You can even see it reflecting off the garbage can. We have turn signals, which again, that's another thing that you don't see on every scooter around. Horn, which is kind of an interesting sound, but it's loud. We have our key to turn on, and we have voltage right there for your battery. Over here, we have our display that's gonna show what ride mode you're in. You have three modes, and then it'll show your speed, your distance, and your battery right here. And they also have eco mode and turbo mode single motor or dual motor. So by the time you mess around with eco, sport, dual, or single motor, and pick between three levels of power, you can pretty much customize whatever speed you wanna go. You can get that good smooth throttle feel on there. See, let's fire it up. You see that motor running? So we're running single motor. Let me flip it over to dual. And we got both. She's fast. We also have much larger tires than we've seen on scooters around this price point too. These are 10 inch tires and they actually have some grip, some tread on them. So I think we're gonna be able to take this scooter off road, hit some dirt roads, be able to use up the dual suspension that it has. Got front shock here and rear shock back here. And the scooter is also foldable. So it folds up right here. You can knock that down so you can be able to stick it in your car, SUV, whatever you need. We got a kickstand. We have it on this stand for the video, but that kickstand holds it up great. A very large deck. Um, however, I think they should have done some grip tape on the entire deck. They give you this center strip, but it's a little bit slippery over here. So we'll see what that's like on our actual ride. We're gonna take it out and we'll show you guys how, how it does. Okay, really quick before we head out on a ride, let's show you what's in the box. So we have dual chargers, which is actually really nice. There's two charging ports right here and you can dual charge this at the same time. They quote it at five to six hours of charge time, which is actually really fast. Most scooters of this battery size are taking 12 to 13 hours and they only include a single charger. So that again, really nice feature, comes with both nice Allen tool. We see these with a lot of electric vehicles. They send you a nice one and they even give you another set of brake pads. So these are gonna go on the cable actuated disc brakes if you wear one out, throw some new pads in and you'll be good to go, along with the user manual. Okay, let's head out on the road. You guys know what time it is. I just hopped on the scooter for the first time, giving you my first impressions. It feels pretty dang solid. I was a little worried, a little skeptical at first since it's only $1,000, but it feels pretty dang solid. Handlebars don't wobble like other scooters we've seen. Feels good. It's really quick. It surprised me how quick it is. I'm in power mode three, turbo mode, dual motor. And it's quick. Let's see how fast we can get. 70, 76, 80 kilometers, 85 kilometers. Wow, 85 kilometers. Not sure what miles that is. Hey Siri, 85 kilometers an hour to miles per hour. Yo! 
All right, I just calculated it. 85 kilometers is 52 miles an hour. I don't think that's accurate because it says it only goes 40. <laughs> On this? But it felt really, really fast. That's crazy. So I don't think the gauge is quite accurate, it, but that's all right. Not. It's pretty I mean, close. It's it, just a scooter. All we know, it goes crazy fast. All right, I'll ride a little bit more, then it's your turn. All right. I'm back on the scooter. Oh man, don't ride a scooter one-handed. It starts getting wobbly. Oop. All right, we're headed up to this trail. We're gonna take it on some off-road trails, test out the suspension a little bit. So far, the suspension feels kind of lacking. You can just kind of bottom it out, just doing that. So it is a cheaper scooter though. One thing that I find really annoying with this scooter that seems to be something with all the cheap e-bikes, e-scooters, whatever, is the throttle delay. Like you hit the throttle and then a second later it goes. And then you let off the throttle, a second later it's, it stops going. So you, just, you gotta get used to that. It's pretty annoying. This thing's quick. Let's hit this curb. That was good. One thing I would also like to mention is this grip. I'm not sure what they were thinking. It's only on the middle. Um, it's pretty slippery right here. That's an easy fix on Amazon. Just get some more grip tape, I guess. That's not too bad. You got ready to ride this? Yeah, I'll, I'll get on it. This thing's got crazy battery life. It's a 52 volt, 25 amp hour. That's a really big battery for a thousand dollar scooter, which is it's crazy. It also has the two, the two charging ports. So it charges in like five hours. And it actually comes with two chargers, which is awesome. We, a couple other scooters we've had are like 13 hour charge times. It's, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. This hill's steep and we're flying. Oh, we might need to go jump those stairs. I don't know if Alex will let me. We'll just jump this curb. Yeah, suspension is definitely lacking. You can just bottom it out so easy. It's really nice for just the road though get those take those harsh bumps off the road dude your bike's looking sick yeah it's coming together dude all you need is wheels basically they're ordered they're on the way hey shout out to is it side by side skid plate yeah that thing is sick you're no no more uh yeah, breaking your metal one check it's full out. plastic it covers the whole bottom it goes behind the pegs it, like goes all the way to your peg brace it in is the back. sweet I'm not worried about denting it. I'm not worried about any rocks. Yeah, I got one too. But need to go put it on. We've got a discount code. Um, check it out. Link in description. Heck yeah! All right, back to the scooter. Maybe I should get on it. Link in the description for this scooter to Amazon. Thousand bucks. This thing's got headlight. It's got blinkers. It's got a horn. What else do you need? You wanna? Do you wanna see a real burnout? I wanna see a burnout. Dude, that was so cool. <laughs> Thousand bucks, you can do a burnout like okay. Alex did. How cool is that? Okay, I'm gonna get out on the ride. Luckily, we're starting out on the dirt. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I don't crash. I get to ride Alex's X9000. Let's go. This thing is like scary fast. For a thousand bucks, there's not much more that you could really even need from a scooter. I think this trail is a little gnarly for what we're supposed to be doing on this scooter. But it's got the dirt tires. I figured we we better try it. We also got to try out the suspension. And so far, suspension is lacking a little bit. Um, you're bottoming out on like jumping up and down a little bit and it's not really holding the weight too well. I think it's great for rolling over little pebbles and like bumps on the road, but kind of off-roading it. <laughs> Crazy trails is not gonna hold up very well. The scooter's got two motors which are pushing 1400 watts each. And you can really tell it's got the power, it's got all the torque that you need to go up to stuff like this and get you up to speed fast on the road. The brakes, I would say are fine. They're not great, they're not bad, but for a scooter like this, I think they're just fine. Guys, if you are interested in purchasing one of these scooters, check the link in the description. We've got our Amazon store right there. All the information is gonna be there because this scooter is a pretty dang good deal. A thousand bucks, this scooter is doing really good. It's quick. Guys, I'm really a fan of this gold color that they've got going on on the stem and like the arms to the wheels. I'm a fan of that. Also, I really like this kickstand that they sent with it that just goes on there. It holds it up really nice and we've gotten some scooters that 
kind of have a little kickstand right here and it I, the scooter just doesn't feel stable but i would feel comfortable standing on that kickstand it's so strong dang it's got the power i really like that you can switch between modes you've got eco and sport mode and single motor and dual motor so you kind of can customize it just depending on how you want to ride hey we don't we don't need to crash this thing all right guys i'm hopping back on the scooter we're headed back home one thing i really like that i forgot to mention is it has a steering lock so it can't go all the way can't just spin in circles the speed wobble is not quite as bad as some other scooters but let's head on back we made it off the off-road section this thing did pretty good I would definitely say it's more of a on-road scooter, but it can handle off-road pretty good if you want it to. All three of us were pretty scared of scooters at first, but the more we ride them, the more we get used to them, the more fun they get. These things are a blast. We still definitely prefer our bikes for the crazy rides we go on, but around town, going wherever we want to go, these things, scooters are fun, and this one can definitely do it. Link in the description, pick this up on Amazon, and we're headed home. I would say for a thousand dollars, this scooter is definitely worth the purchase. No, it doesn't compete with two thousand, three thousand dollar scooters, but for a thousand dollars, it it holds its own. Let's head back and do a quick recap. As you guys saw, this is a very capable scooter, and for the price point of a thousand dollars, I think you're getting a bang for your buck. You're getting a whole lot of scooter right here. If you guys are interested in purchasing this scooter, like we said before, link in our description of the video, head over to Amazon, get yourself a scooter and you'll be out on the road with us. Awesome time. We really appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you guys next time. See ya.